Angeles man claiming he got a little extra crunch in his cinnamon toast crunch. Jensen Karp posted these pictures on Twitter claiming he found shrimp tails in his cereal. Hours after his first tweet, Carp got a reply from the cereal brand saying what he believed was a shrimp tail appears to be an accumulation of the cinnamon sugar that sometimes can occur when ingredients aren't thoroughly blended. I'm tr is the thing in his hand supposed to be the shrimp tail? Okay, yes, the, the company is saying there's no way this could be contaminated with shrimp. They are offering to have the possible tails tested. Let's bring in our chief legal correspondent, Seema Iyer. Okay, the, the picture looked, what I had seen before looked bigger. Who knows Sorry, how... I was watching the cat. I know, I, I'm not I even know. paying attention to you, Paige. I'm looking for the cat. Sorry. Hey, stick with me, Seema. Oh, okay, the producers sorry. are keeping their eyes Got on it. the cat. We are going to go back to the cat if anything gets exciting, I promise. Let's switch to another bizarre animal story. Yes, please. The shrimp, the cinnamon toast crunch, shrimp tails. It, what is the legal action here? I mean, what's going on? Is this going to go to court? Like, where are we? I think it could go to court. The question is, will the claims make it past a judge's initial? Initial threshold review of the legal filings. Now, to be clear, this would be a personal injury claim filed in civil court for money damages as a products liability action. Manufacturers, they have a duty of care page and it's owed to customers. And if this is proved to be something other than our beloved Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it is a breach of that duty page. On this picture for one second. Yeah. I can't be the only one thinking this. Are the shrimp tails supposed to be those little black check things? No. Okay. So that. Okay. So first there was the shrimp tails, oh, right? I see those it over pinkish in the other things. One. Okay. Now here's what happened. Those black marks are allegedly uh, rat. Rod <gasps> oh no, rodent. Rodent droppings. Rodent droppings. Oh. That's what. That's what he thinks they are. But he. But he's not sure. Which is why he needs to send this box to the manufacturers, let them test it. Because that's the only thing really that's gonna make a judge say, okay, we can look at this and see if it actually happened, right? I mean, if he's not willing to provide proof. Well, okay, so he, if he doesn't for some reason send the packing in, if he has pictures that were contemporaneously taken with the opening of the box, if he saved the box, if he has that uh, stamp on the box to show when it was actually manufactured, that could help him bolster a potential lawsuit. But again, uh, in, in a way, it's their word against his unless he provides that proof because they will have these daily reports from the manufacturers, from the packing plant to show that uh, they comply with all hygiene standards issued by state and federal government page. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, Seema, you are now released to go back to watch the cat. Thank you.